Welcome back. Welcome back, my friends, to Live on Bowen. Uh, you would know tonight's guest best from his work on the hit TV show Wilfred. He also created the Agony series on ABC and is one of Australia's most exceptional comedy actors. We're so excited to have him, so please give him a big round of applause, Mr. Adam Zwa! <laughs> Hello, fella. Thanks so much. Please grab a seat. Thanks for coming. Oh, pleasure. You're all over the telly. Constantly. Oh, I I want to give you a bit of a rest soon. Yeah. It's been a long it's been a long journey. Give us a rest. Yeah. No, I'm going to watch space. it on iView again. <laughs> it's good. It's great. So, where did it all start? Where you you started in journalism before the comedy world? Yeah, I was a journalist. Uh, I worked for um, a number of newspapers, but I, I started my career up career up in Brisbane at a newspaper called the Brisbane Sun, which no longer exists and for good reason. Um, <laughs> did you have a hand in that? <laughs> yeah, or? it was one of Murdoch's uh, tabloids and um, there was, a, there was a poster on the wall that was meant to inspire staff and it said, welcome to sun country, make it fast, make it first, make it accurate, and if all else fails, just make it up. Really? You know? Yeah, so it was, it was a strange... It doesn't sound like moment. Murdoch at all. <laughs> and next to it, I mean, it's a, it, you know, it was a really trashy place and next to that poster were three other posters celebrating the career of West Coast Ruckman Dean Cox. Right. There was the, uh, the headline about the Ruckman's return from injury, Cox eases back in. Good. <laughs> um, the one about his man of the match performance against St Kilda. <laughs> West Coast, no, what was it? Man of the match performance against St Kilda. Big Cox on show. Mm. And my favourite ever headline, West Coast to play with Cox out. Oh, that that's was, good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> like he's saying Kilda wasn't there because they would have been like, St Kilda takes photos of Cox. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> 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 Something like that. And so then the foray into uh, comedy, was that Wilfred? Is that where it started? Yeah, well, I'd make short films on weekends. Mm. And, I, and I made a, a, a... My first short film was just beyond bad. Um, In what and, way? Well, continuity was a problem. Does everyone know what continuity <laughs> is? Uh, and it, basically, uh, when actors say when actor was, was, was smoking the cigarettes would grow longer as they smoked <laughs> and, and the sleeves would kind of roll up and down as people talked. Just call it sci-fi. Exactly, That's, yeah. It's a new world. There was one guy, one actor, who grew a moustache in the time it took to walk from the bathroom to the kitchen. <laughs> you know? um, it was a very bad film. That sounds like a great film. <laughs> um, I, I probably, I, then I went off and made about eight more films until mm. I made Wilfred. And um, how did that start? If, if people seen Wilfred here, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh, so good. Thank you. So you, you have Jason Gann playing a dog in a dog costume, but where, like, it was your idea to, to begin with? Well, uh, yeah, it was, it was the traumatic experience that actually happened to me. And um, I'd gone uh, out to a uh, on a date with this girl, went back to her place and she had a dog, uh, half Labrador, half Dingo. What? And um, she went into the kitchen to make a cup of tea and I was stuck with the dog and we're playing, throwing the ball to the dog. It was, it was all great. When it came time to go to the bedroom, the dog sat on the end of the bed and just staring at me as if to say, what the F are you going to do to my missus, you know? <laughs> and. Uh, got out of there mm. quickly and then told Jason the next day about this experience and I said, you be the dog and I'll be me. And uh, we wrote it and it was one of those rare moments which you felt like you'd actually come up with something good, you know, you just knew it in your bones. And since then you have... So, no, I, mean, I haven't experienced that <laughs> since Oh, then. come on, that's not true. <laughs> Agony series is so awesome, like you're, it's such a simple idea but I can't stop, like I can't get enough of it because it's always like... I need the next bit of wisdom. Yes, yes, me too. What's, oh, no, that's really? like, What's uh, the best thing you've learned from it? Well, well Lawrence Mooney is, is one of the um, is one of the champs, and he. I remember him saying to me once that if you're at a party and you're speaking to someone and you're having a better time than they are, stop drinking. That's good advice. <laughs> I think that's really good advice. That's sound advice. <laughs> and the latest thing you've done is this a cricketing doco. Yeah, I, I did a doc, documentary uh, about Body Align um, where I faced up to Brett Lee. Um, what? Why? Yeah. Why would you do this? Uh, so they, so they wanted Body to Line's replicate. like uh, Donald Bradman era, right? Yeah, so 1930s Australia, there was uh, basically in those days they had no helmets. The, the gloves were, were, were paper thin, paper thin pads. And, um, and so there was this guy called Larwood, Harold Larwood, who bowled as fast as Brett Lee. And so. They wanted me to experience what it would be like to face up to Larwood. And so, without a helmet, uh, with these shitty little pads and gloves, I faced up to Brett Lee. 
And you know, I'm not. Have you got marks that you're covering no, up, or what's the deal? It happened before Alas Phil Hughes died, right. so we would not be able to get insurance to do that today. Right. Wow. So we got in. Uh, well, <laughs> it was good for them. Bad for, <laughs> no, you bad didn't for have them. a good time of it. Yeah, no, it was it was terrifying, mate. I, right. Yeah, if I got hit by that ball, dead. Wow. Yeah. Thanks wouldn't for doing it for our entertainment. <laughs> wouldn't have uh, been alive, but live on Bowen. Wow. That's we it. appreciate you here. <laughs>